Alrighty, we have uh, Mark Robbo and Steve Tram playing the last eight of the uh, Turks Pool Comp, best of seven. And, uh, next to me, uh, I am Michael Scary, and next to me, I have uh, Chris. How are you, mate? Afternoon. Uh, better shape than I was uh, for last night's commentary. So <laughs> that's all good. A cracking break there. I'm not sure who broke then, Mark or Steve. Yeah, Mark broke that. Mark. But and, uh, what I've seen, what I've seen, me he's, he's broken that way all day. And uh, last time these guys uh, met were was in the final of the Aubrey Comp uh, several months back, and uh, I think Tranny got up five three, I think, in the uh, final of that. I actually, think it might have been the uh, Victorian title last time these two met. Maybe. But I think the Victorian title was before or the Aubrey tournament. Anyway. Either way, they have met uh, a few times in the past. It looks like he's actually run a little bit far there. Yeah, I can't really tell from this angle, but he's getting down on it quite quick, so he's, uh, he's going to roll through here at a foot and a half. Or even might come off the cushion, depending on the uh, angle. So, yeah, nice. 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 So, two options here, either to stun up for the black in the centre, or pretty much come back three or four inches and play the black in the corner. Depends how you feel. Probably put in the centre, yep. Uh, good, good start here by Mark. And this table is running quite nice, so... They just prize money breakdown for, the, for this tournament. 2,000 uh, first prize, 1,000 second, third and fourth, get 400 each, and I think Best lady gets 400 and best amateur gets 400. So these guys are pretty much playing right now for a minimum of $400.
Not a bad break there by Trunny. Recent uh, Teams Australian winner, Victorian. So is Mark as well. Both were in the Victorian winning side this year. On the table next to them, they have uh, Scott Matthews and uh, Chris Paulette. Yeah, try and keep our eyes on that one as well. What I've seen of Scott so far, Scott Scott looks like he's hitting a really nice ball too. Yeah, he's got a. He looks he looks really good out there. So Scott's always had a, quite a solid game. He's not afraid to pull up either or play play good safety. Yeah, he's looked he's looked fairly composed from what I've seen today. Training just working, working a few shots out here. Now he's going to go about this out. It's still a little bit of work to be done here. Yeah, the last shot there, I definitely don't think he wanted to leave that uh, top yellow side the bulk line as closest to the rail as he has. Can't tell from this angle either if that bottom yellow goes into the, uh, the bottom left hand corner pocket. Might just be uh, half a pocket or so at the most. Yeah, I'd say it. I'd, I'd say it does. It looks close here, so if it looks close here, I'd say it does for sure. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, by training. Just take this one at the top of the table here and float down for the uh, yellow on the, the bottom quite right. A, quite a key shot here. He has to get this right. Yeah, looks nice. Just, he needs he needs a little bit of angle here. To, uh, actually, looks good. So I think if he stuns the white, where that yellow is, you can only presume now that the uh, the way he's gone about this is he's going to play this uh, ball on the right hand side of the table. I only presume that one uh, to the bottom, bot, excuse me, bottom left goes. Yeah. So it sort of wants to be, I'd say, either dead straight on this last yellow in the centre pocket so he can sort of screw back a little bit, or he wants to have a bit of angle, so he wants to land on the right side of it, so therefore he can play the yellow in the centre, come off the cushion and drift down the table about half a foot for the... Uh, Black in the centre. So he does have that angle. No, like a little bit more or a little bit less, one of the two, but probably a little bit more so he can sort of play the yellow a little bit softer and come off the cushion. Right now he's going to have to play that a little bit harder and there is a small chance that he could he could draw this yellow trying to get on the black. The, the way he's just looked at that, he looks like he's just going to drop this in. Let's come back a few inches here. That's what he wants to do. Yeah, it's, that's, he's done that beautiful. Nice. It's a good shot. Uh, one great, all. great response there by Tranny. They've uh, decided to use the comp balls again, Mick. Yeah, I don't think Scotty was a fan of the uh, these balls. So that's why they got changed before, I think. Pretty sure. I don't know whether he might have a choice if he, if he happens to continue winning and be back on this table in the semi or final. I think they will be using these balls because they're just a little bit easier to uh, to see on the camera. And, uh, Mark's screwed straight back in off. Beautiful split. Massive, massive break again. And this is looking, uh, looking good for Tranny here, 2-1. I do, I do say that early, but look, these players are, are class, and uh, I can't, I really can't see Trenny stuffing this out up. Hang on, the reds here. Yeah, the, the red near the blacks. Goes, goes bottom left, looks like. Yeah.
Probably, probably the last ball as well. Probably second last. Um, it all depends on how he wants to land. On, I, I would probably play the one in the centre and drift down the table and play the bottom right yellow. Mm -hmm. Leaving the one near the black for last. Pretty much like that. I'd maybe come a little bit further. So you can play the bottom red now and then and then come back up the table. Okay. And then roll your roll the other reds in and then the red near the black. You can you can leave to last. So you can play the red on the red at the top of the table and then Knock in the. Just going to go about this slightly different. Just going to screw past it. So it pretty much wants to land sort of back where the white is now. Not as far though. Pretty much. It, it, the ball over the pocket, yes, it is easy, but it's also hard to to pot it and get good position. So he's probably going to have to either judge coming off the rail and hitting the jaw, or even just coming straight back. So I don't know whether I like the way he's gone about these last couple of shots, but he's played that fine. Yeah, so that looks okay. he's in uh, he's in good position now. That was pretty much a, just a dodgy shot that one there. So wants to be straight on the uh, next yellow here. So come across the table. Red. So uh, red, red. Sorry. Yeah, red near the right. black now. Sorry about that. Yep. So as you said yeah. earlier, second last ball. Yeah, it was either going to be second last or last. So either either. Depends on how you want to go about it. So, you just pretty much want to screw back. Um, maybe six inches, pretty much where his cue was there. So you're not hampered by the black. And then you can roll the bottom red in. And you'll be nicely on the black in the center. That's perfect. Yeah. So clear it's it. So just make sure you get past this yellow, you don't under hit it. It's best to over hit this shot, even if you come up sort of where the black spot is, then you're, you're fine. And he's played that really nicely. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's be 2-1 uh, with... Three break clears, except yeah. Robbo went in off on that one, so... Try need a break now. It's funny the way Paul is sometimes, you know, it all happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. And each, each match and each frame is so different to the next. Just think of all the thousands of times you've broken, how many times the balls have come up exactly the same. Like, pretty much never. Or you'll never remember anyway. Looking dry. Come up dry. What are you looking at here? What do you what do you like here? You can, you well, can depends actually on go what, either way. Yeah. I do like the reds. I actually like the reds here. You get a nice nice starter and then you can get nicely on the one down the bottom left to play off the cushion and sort of move the... Move, move the, the yellow just a bit to the right. That's it. You don't hit it too hard. You just want to move it about three or four inches. And you, you can pretty much do this out nice and controlled. Right, looks like it's going to be topping through here. Ooh. Just dropped in. Now here's a long red. I didn't try and sort of screw back with this long red and screw back into the yellow sort of in the middle of the table. So he's got position on pretty much every red on the table. Or if you can miss the yellow, he can sort of screw past it a little bit and be on that red down the, down the rail to nudge that yellow all the way from the bottom left. He's taking the, uh, the other red, slightly harder red. It was missable. The reason why he pretty much chose that was pretty much because that his linking balls after that, after that slightly missable shot, 
uh, was a lot easier. So you see where the white is now, he can just roll in that red um, and then pretty much roll the other reds in. Yeah, then he's, uh, yeah, as you said, then he's over on those, the two, the bottom left there. Yeah. That's so he's going to move that yellow. But it was pretty much in prime position. Training with a, an opportunity here. He's going to need to um, sort out this yellow closest to the black spot. He doesn't really have to do too much right now. He, he can actually just take the pocket if he wants. Sort of play yellow on the yellow and try and cover the pocket that way. If it falls, then he's got to back up yellow. And you probably want to use, you probably want the first yellow to fall anyway, so then Mark doesn't actually put a red on the yellow and, and yeah, stand you up just, straight yeah, away. Take control of the pocket straight back. So. You might be moving this yellow in the middle now. Just come down. I'd say now he'd be um, he'd be just nicking this yellow over. If if the other yellow in the centre was on, he could actually have a dip at the out. It might it might be on, but I think it's a little bit risky. The yellow to the right hand middle, you mean? No, in the middle of the table. Oh. He's just laying up here. This is fine. Just make sure it sticks over the pocket. That's fine. The red, the red does go under, possibly, or it does come out. But Mum's going to have to play a couple of good shots to uh, for that to happen. So Charlie's in uh, in good position right now. Up here, or either kill, kill the red, uh, the yellow. Sorry. We're basically trying to force train to to take this either yellow. have a dip, or um, either either try and set up the yellow even nicer, and hopefully it falls in. So and the thing is, Tranny doesn't want to play this, but he's going to. He's going might, he might have to. The thing is, he, if he just leaves leaves the white there and fouls, then. Robbo can actually pot out. I've seen Tranny play a few of these. Uh, yeah, he's actually really the good at shots. Oh, yes, I saw him uh, the last one I saw was at Nationals. I think he played a couple. I think he's just getting the rest. Mark's actually even gone and got the rest for him. This is what happens when you're it's it's still still very awkward. This is what happens when you're four foot tall. <laughs> he just wants to just roll up on the yellow. He doesn't sort of double kiss it. He doesn't want to, doesn't want to pot it. He just doesn't want to foul. He just wants to leave Mark with one shot. It's a foul. It's fouled. It was a foul anyway because he double kissed it on the way down, sort of double tapped the white. Yeah. So there's a. So what does it? What does Mark do here? You pretty much either take. You can take the pot on. You take the pot on and try and hit the other red out if if he wasn't hampered. What I'd do now is just nick the red out. I'll nick both reds out now actually and have have a dip. Or even if you nick the reds out and they land a bit dodgy, then you can you can try and take control from there. Looks like you might be going the first option. Yeah. He wanted a he wanted a nicer white. But now all the balls in the open. Pretty much 50-50 now, this uh, this frame. And Mark will take that from before. So before he was uh, he was lower than 50-50, now 50-50 and he'll definitely take that. Yeah, still, still for Tranny at the moment, still don't like that yellow near the black spot. Mark's red that it's uh, almost sitting on. That, that will definitely go bottom right. But... Yeah, one good pot here and uh, 
Mark Twain's favourite. The problem is here, if he misses... And that's played that really nice. If he did miss, um, Trani did have a lot of options there. Just avoid the centre pocket, which is done by a mile. And, uh, not looking... He's actually looking good. He probably wants to come across and play the uh, yellow, the red near the yellow next. If he doesn't have a lot of angle, it looks like he does. So again, possibly if he's got angle, or if he can screw back into the yellow that's on the side of the cushion and hold on that, he might be coming off two rails like that. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Yeah, that's good. So now he's, uh, he's sort nice. of landed in. And again, sort of in between two shots here, but taking the middle one of the three. Ooh, I, I think, think that's just made that red a little bit more awkward yeah, by uh, uh, moving the yellow. I think he may have killed that red. So does he. The thing is, if he plays the red now and comes across and nudges the yellow, he's going to have to play it at pace, and then he has to land, he actually has to hit that yellow quite quite nice. So He's looking at it, he's, uh, he's had a look at that. I would probably, be, I think you've got to take the risk. Play it sort of at a medium pace, come across, try and hit the uh, yellow sort of fat. Okay, well then, it's still, it's, it's very hard from where we're sitting. I'll just call that umpire over, just to, Steve, just to, just to watch the yellow, watch the shot. Steve doesn't really want to do it because <laughs> he's quite close. That's not Steve's drink in his hand, it's uh, someone else. <laughs> He's definitely hit, yeah, he hit the red. Didn't come anywhere near the yellow in the end. Yeah, he decided against it, because even if he got it, it's probably not on the black. <clears throat> so these are all on for Trini though. Land nicely. Probably play the uh, the black, the bottom left, because I'm not sure if it does go bottom right. Mid. He's uh, trying just taking yeah. up here. Just want the yellow to bounce out too far. That's okay. It has. So it was Mark come off the bottom rail here, off no. the right hand side, and try and land behind it, or um, it's no, risky cause only, it's only the because jaw. only because if you do get it perfect, uh, it's still really not good enough. He's still got that uh, ball to the right hand middle, yeah. even if he lands there. I would, I would probably come up and down the table, um, or even try and pot Tranny's yellow and come across and sit under the other yellow. So, I think I'd be doing that. If that black doesn't go past that red, pot, pot Trani's yellow with left hand side and sort of come under where he's aiming for now. I don't like that. Yeah, it's... I, I know, I know that's not exactly what he wanted to do, but I don't... I don't really like that shot. Only because no matter what happens there, Tranny still has a good Tranny still has an open up where he's got a lot of options. I think if you pop the yellow down the bottom left and sit the white pretty much on the bottom cushion down here, then Tranny still has two dodgy yellows and he's still gotta play a good shot in his first shot. 
forces your opponent to sort of maybe have a dip or... I'm just looking at that one, I do think that goes through, through the gap there. That yellow just above the black. Okay. I've watched him, he's looked at it twice, that's all, so... This will get rid of the problem for him on the left hand side. Tranny is going to basically stun the white so he can play a double and then come down and play the other yellow. So he wants to stop stop the uh, white where the yellow is. He's okay. played that nice. Uh, well, he's probably come a little bit further yeah. than he wanted to. I didn't even know that went, so yeah. whatever I said didn't make any sense then. As I said, I sort of watched him get down on it twice to see if it went. I didn't actually think it would go that clean. And this is looking nice now. So it's going to be 3-1 here. Oh, just under hit a little bit, but he's still fine. 3-1 Trani. Good to move into the semis. Just going back to these, uh, the choice of the balls that they're using, Nick. Mm -hmm. They are same weight, same size. It's only the colour difference. I, as far as I know, yes. Yes, they look a little bit weird at first, but when you actually put them out there and start playing with them, you. I think they are. They are nice. I think it's a nice sort of change up too. Gives the game a bit of a, a refresh in a way. <coughs> Cracking break here. Just missed that uh, in off. Got the yellow. And just deciding here what he wants to go. Probably, I'd say, probably reds here. He's going to go reds. Yeah, just they're a little bit easier to link up. So cleared the black straight away. And they killed it and then put a yellow in front so of the yellow. killed two reds there too. Yeah. yeah he's pretty much only landed on uh, right up the top in the bulk. Unless he can chop this one inside the yellow. Yeah. He basically wants to stop trying to pot out now. He wants to, he's sort of got to go into, not negative mode, but sort of just recovery mode right now. Just try and, just try and get yourself back in the game, even though he's not out of it, but just, if he continues to pot balls now, he, he could give himself a deeper hole. If the black sort of landed out in the open, yeah, he could continue, but I think it's time to um, just pull up a little bit now. Try and, try and, try and make sure of his frame. So he's chopping this over the bottom right, perhaps Let's try and move the yellow out of the way as well. And uh, I think he'd be happy that that didn't stop there. Didn't fall. I think both of those yellows just the just above the black spot there to the left hand side. Both of those go bottom left. So he just needs to deal with this yellow. Bottom right of your screen, the lowest yellow that you can see on the right hand side. Trying to have a chance to be out here. I think he, uh, actually think he's going to have a go. If he um, puts the one in the centre and comes sort of towards the middle of the table, then he can play one of the two 
ones at the bottom. Don't think it's that hard enough. It's a bit short. Yeah, if you come over a little bit more, you can then play one of the yellows in the corner and then sort of get under one or two of those other yellows on the right-hand side of the table. It's going to be a blessing in disguise for Mark if Johnny actually tries to have a dip here and tries to take the win right here and now. But Trani is he's a very, very calculated player, Trani. And uh, he doesn't like taking very many risks unless he has to. Uh, is he looking to, to lay this yellow over the, the pocket or is he still going? Out. Yeah, he's still going. Oh, he's gone off the red. It's mm. a good shot. Tell you what, that, that dead yellow at the bottom right does go in the, uh, I'm pretty sure it does go in the left centre. It does also go in the left corner as well. So depending on how he wants to do this, he can either stun across the table or and land either Lower or higher? Yeah. We're just looking at it now, pretty much off the uh, off the next yellow. Just make sure we don't hit the hit the yellow and kill it even more. There's still a lot of a lot of good shots required yet to take the uh, frame and match. So if I was Marky, I'd be happy that train is actually having a dip here. Because you get to the point where pretty much the point of no return. Might be doubling this over to the bottom left. Having a look at it. Anyone going for it? I don't like it. I don't know why. I just I don't know why. I think Mark will like this from here. The thing is, right. Even if he, even if he got that, it's still, it's still, a, still a hard out. Like, I think he was better off trying to, trying to land on that yellow rather than play that, play that then. So you would have soft, uh, soft stun off yeah. the yellow near the black spot there and to try and land behind it. Yeah. But even not leave it where the white is now and then play the one in the centre and screw back, yeah. get back onto it. So. This shot, yeah, this shot has to go right, pretty much. Is he going to cover here? He wants to, wants to try and cover. I oh, know. He actually tried to do. He tried to pot it and not the block it at that pace. He's uh, swift training with uh, next to nothing. So what Mark's done there is pretty much play a quite an attacking shot and uh, opening up his balls. And now his balls are uh, and now his favourite. He's looking at will go to the middle, but the white's going to run unless he plays it off the off the red. He's, uh, I think that last shot from Marks really put him under the pump. He might be trying to get this yellow on the other side of the table, sort of down the bottom left. Sort of stun up. We do currently have two other tables running on the other side of the venue. The uh, scores have just been put up there. Butterworth, 3-0 up on Lee Gilpin. Glenn, 2-1 up on uh, Michael Zuppa. And Scott Matthews, 3-0 up on uh, Chris. A lot of the crowd that uh, has been here all day is 
converged over to these two tables though. So, a little bit fortunate there, he did want to clip that red but he's, uh, he's okay. say he's okay but he's really not. He's still got a lot of control with the bottom right though. Yeah but he can, if he doesn't play the right shots now he will lose it very quickly. He'll lose that control. So how does he get back to this? Uh... Tell you what, not a bad Maybe not a bad shot, he's just running up on that red near the yellow and just pushing the yellow to the cushion and leaving the white right behind the red. That's what he's going to do now, possibly. Yeah, I like that. I like that, it's a good shot. Just freeing a few things up. Yeah, I like that shot. Uh, it's, it was a good shot. He's left Tranny uh, pretty much on three open yellows, but he's still got to sort this bottom right, and it's opened all mark, Mark's reds up. Yeah, he plays now on. Basically, saying that Tranny now, as soon as I get back to the table, I'm yeah, it's uh, over. It's nearly over, yeah. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to cover pockets, you don't have to, you know, smother balls too. You can just obviously leave the white in difficult spots for your opponent to pot his first ball and get on to the next, you know. You can just, great example is that, that shot right there, you know. Promote one of his balls, he's done that, left the white in a, a dodgy but safe safe for him but dodgy for Mark spot, he's done that, so it was a good, it was a good visit. And, uh, he's pretty much, uh, I think he's tried to play a similar shot again, left all the reds on, he's left Trini on this uh, yellow bottom left but still the same issue from the last shot. Every shot that goes past now, Tranny's slowly losing the frame. He, uh, he really needs to do something quick here. Even try and somehow kill the black. Pot, pot this yellow, hit the yellow on the black even after that and kill the black. You know, just do something. I don't like that shot, only because Mark can actually have a dip now. And Tranny's in no better position if Mark misses. So I think if uh, I think if Tranny potted that yellow and went up the table and then played the uh, yellow onto the black even and just sort of pushed the black to the cushion. Yes, Mark's got a few extraction balls and stuff like that, but he actually has to do something to make the out. Always make your opponent do something. Don't just hand him a frame. Red to top corner pocket. If it goes in, I am saying frame over. Well, not. Maybe it wasn't even on. Maybe I'm talking rubbish. Um, I think that's. Uh, we've seen three. I think he's gone with the same tactic got these last three shots, Mark. Pop the yellow now if I was trying to the top top of the table and play the yellow on the black. Push it back to the rail, it's pretty much the same shot. This is the way that Mark likes to play. He, tries, he forces people to uh, have a go at low percentage outs. Yeah, it's not going to work with Trini though. No, uh, he hasn't. Trini's, uh, Trini's very, hasn't fallen for it. Very smart. Very smart player. 
who's up there with the uh, the best of them. So what does he do? He's going to is he going to push this uh, yellow into black? Push the black down over his yellow. No, no just just get the black in the middle of the table uh, in the middle of the cushion. I think he has tried to go my oh, shot. No good. No, he's left all, he's left that on. I would have made sure of the black hitting the rail halfway down and staying there. Putting it down over the uh, putting it down over the yellow. I think he would have liked to actually cannon into that yellow. Move the yellow over the bottom left yeah, hand you're corner. Doing, you're doing too much. You're just doing too much. And even if you get it right, Mark, Mark can just play good, another safety and sort of knock it out or pot it. It's less Mark with all procuring here though. Unless he, unless he can get through to this, uh, this red bottom right. It's, doesn't look like it. See, if that black was in the middle of the uh, two yellows there, then Tranny's next shot, if he was going to get a shot, can actually get that yellow out to the bottom right. But Mark obviously would have done something for him not to do that. So what does he do here, Mick? Does he cover this bottom left with the uh, the yellow and I would I would probably try and play the double and stun down the table and knock that yellow over the pocket that's near the black. If you get that right, then you can knock the other knock the other yellow out, your dead yellow. If you just do this, alright. I think Mark if you just do just this pop that. That's right. And uh, you know, we'll leave him I think he'd Mark will get rid of this straight away. And so he'll just Mark? leave him exactly where that yellow is now. And the only thing he's leaving him on is the... Uh, That's... No, the, uh, yeah. The yellow over the bottom well, right. But he trying to can knock in that first yellow, possibly, either in the centre or the top corner. Mark might hit the black away from that pocket and pot the yellow at the same time. So so killing the black on the other side of the table where his red is. Red and yellow is. OK, yep. So I, I would have preferred Trini play the double and then stun down the table and put that yellow there. So if that yellow landed there and he is where he is now, um, he can then knock his other, other ball out over the pocket. But he decided to do this. So Mark might be just playing uh, black onto the yellow here. Oh, no. Mark's not sure what's happened there, but he finishes 4-1 with uh, Trini going through to the last four. Mm. Okay. It did, I mean, yes, he hit it hard, but yes, the, yes, the you never... Never expected Black to follow it in. The yellow was close. Yeah, he was up on it straight away. Hmm. Okay. That's pull. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So Tranny into the semis. Plays. Well, they've got to pull balls out. So Butters in. Tranny's in. Scotty looks very close to be in, and uh, Glenn Kroos and uh, Michael Zuppa are still battling it out. Anyway, I've got to I've head off. I will uh, see you a bit later.